Growing up, I used to ask myself, how come every time when I type something on Google, I always find answers? Is it Google writing all these answers? It was later I realized that for each and every question you type on Google and a website pops up, that website is owned by a blogger. It is not Google providing those answers, but Google just stores all those answers. So basically, all the websites that you see on Google are owned by bloggers. It can be individual blogger or a company, but it all comes down to blogging. guys welcome back to me talking about the one and only thing we all love money in today's video i want to share with you the details of blogging from setting up a blog to actually making money from it if you have been following me for a while you will know that i do have a monetized finance blog before we get into this video please don't forget to hit the like button right away so that i won't have to annoy you during the video youtube algorithm loves it when you hit that guy and of course don't forget to click the bell notification so that you won't miss out on my future videos and don't worry i won't spam you i only post twice a week first of all i'm sorry this video is gonna be a bit long and that's because it's a combination of both tips and an actual tutorial where i show you how to create your own website or your own blog but you can skip to the parts that you're interested in i'm gonna leave the subtopics here on the screen number one setting up your blog creating a blog is very easy and you don't have to pay anyone to do it for you i know some people charge you for that but honestly it's very straightforward you don't have to learn coding or anything like that all you need is a website host or a web host basically a web host is when a hosting provider allocates space in their web server for a website to host files or posts think of a web host as a landlord and you are the tenant you can either build your house from scratch which is coding the website up or you can be a tenant and actually have a web host there are different website hosts you can find online and one of them includes bluehost wordpress SiteGround and Wix.com. They all offer both paid version and free version. Of course, you'd want to go with the free version. Most of the free versions, you can't monetize it, which defeats the whole point. I assume that you are here because you want to be able to make money. You cannot put ads on free website or at least some of them. Secondly, you cannot have your own URL or your own domain. For example, let's say you call your website www.shemeansbusiness.com. If you go with free version, you will have www.shemeansbusiness.com dot wix.com or dot wordpress.com so you won't have your own personalized domain you can choose any host you prefer they are all good but for the purpose of this video i will be talking about bluehost because that's the web host i am currently using and i've been using since now let's start setting up our website from scratch i'm gonna turn the screen so that you guys can see and don't worry i'll leave the bluehost link down below that you can go to their website if you want to host with them first of all go to bluehost.com or click the link that i left down below and you will land on this page when you get to this page you can see here the monthly fee is only 3.95 dollars and that is around 67 rands first of all they will require you to put your domain or use your existing domain for example if you already had a domain maybe in a free website but now you want to use a paid version you can use the same domain or you can come up with a new domain in this case we can say um, she means business.com you will see different plans and choose basic plan next thing you'll be required to fill your account information and the next page will be package information under this option you will see three different sub plans i chose basic for 36 months it's cheap and you don't have to repurchase for a while they also have extra packages these are not important or compulsory to have but you can pay for things such as privacy for your website or your speed and finally you have to accept the terms and conditions immediately after this you will get a domain just like that your website is up and running you still have to write posts you still have to set the theme of your website it's time now to learn the behind the scene of your website as you can see here this is the behind the scene of your website your readers will not be able to see this but only you as a blogger or as an admin this is where you manage everything like writing your posts from scratch and all those things the first thing you want to do once your website is up and running go to appearances and you will see themes they have different themes both paid and free version once you have chosen a theme that you like click on activate but i won't do that because i already have a theme and then go to customize add your name or your domain add background pictures when you are done with customizing your theme you have to press publish when you press publish it's gonna show you on your other end of the website what your readers are gonna see just above dashboard you'll see visit website click on it and it will take you back to the other end of your website now that your theme is set up the next step is to write your first post writing a post may sound easy but it's more than just drafting on word you need to check your grammar your spelling errors you can use a free tool called grammarly they have both paid version and free 
version let's say now you've drafted your post on word document now you want to check spelling errors you just copy your post then go to grammarly.com paste your post there and it'll show you the mistake that you need to fix when you're done with that copy the corrected version and go to the behind the scenes of your website on wordpress if you're using bluehost for example when you get to your website go to post add new and paste your post Thing. after this you could just choose to press publish but i wouldn't recommend that because you want to add some pictures for emphasis in between your paragraphs no one wants to read 3000 words with no picture in between you need to include pictures for emphasis or to entertain your readers but obviously you have to include a picture that is relevant to what you're talking about first of all you need to know that you can't just take any photos you find online because owners can claim those photos so you have to use free websites such as unsplash canva or any other free website canva is a free tool that you can use to edit your photos there is a paid version but the free version is also good i still use it for my blog as well as for my youtube thumbnail so you don't have to pay for this after posting a few posts maybe three posts the next thing you have to do is to set up your google adsense so that you can be able to display ads on your website this is a very straightforward process it takes about three to five minutes i will leave google adsense link down below and you can go ahead and apply they will take a couple of days to review your website which is why it's very important that you apply for google adsense once you have at least two or three posts on your website because when they go to your website and they find nothing they may take longer to reply or they may not even approve your adsense at this point you have your website running you have a few posts published and you have ads on your website the next thing is getting traffic to your website you cannot only rely to your friends and family members to always come and read your post you need to start marketing your blog the right way there are many social media platforms that you can use to market from facebook to instagram but the main social media platform that you need to learn if you're gonna be a blogger is pinterest pinterest is a game changer it's 100 percent free but it can get you thousands and thousands of visitors from around the world. It's almost like Google. It's a search engine. People type how to make money or how to remove dark spots and they see different pins. When they click on that pin, it leads them back to the blogger's website. That's how you get visitors. In case you don't know how to create a business account on Pinterest and how to link your website to your Pinterest, I'll show you right now. To do this, go to Pinterest.com. I'll also leave the link down below. Click on sign up, choose business account and put your details tells your email and everything and after that you will see editing pen click on the editing pen and the most important part is claiming your website you need to claim your website claiming your website means for each and every pin you post on pinterest you can attach your website link and when someone sees your pin and they click on your pin it will take them back to your website that's how you end up getting thousands and thousands of visitors even if you don't have pinterest followers after claiming your website you can then start creating pins upload and link your website to your pins another way to reach as many people as you can on pinterest is to join group boards you can find group boards for example if you are doing skincare or if your website is about skincare you can type skincare group bots and you'll see different bots. Some of them you can request on the group directly and some you have to send emails. The good thing with joining bots is one bot can have 22,000 people or even 50,000 or even 200,000. When you post your pin in this bot, all these people will be able to see your pin. They'll either click and go read what your post is about or if they like the pin, they'll repin it to their bot. When they repin to their bots, that's even much better because if they have, for example, 10,000 followers, that means all their followers will see your pin if your pin speaks to someone they will most likely click on it and go to your website you can easily get 30,000 page views per month or even more also when you get to pinterest you need to make sure that you follow people in your niche if you're in finance you want to follow people who are doing the same thing as you or if you're doing skincare you want to follow people who are doing skincare that way you can be able to see which boards they are in and you can join those boards as well finally the part you've been waiting for making money with your blog how do you make money with your blog of course the easiest way to make money with blogging is google adsense by displaying ads on your blog whether people click on ads or not you still get paid as long as those ads are displayed on your blog you still get money but of course that depends on the traffic that you bring which is why you must make pinterest your best friend trust me you can get thousands and thousands of visitors that you don't even know not from south africa only not from the us not from wherever you are but from around the globe because pinterest is used by so many people you get paid once a month and you need to reach the threshold 
which is hundred dollars in the US, but if you are in South Africa, it's one thousand rands, and that's not the equivalent of one hundred dollars. Secondly, you can make money on your blog using referrals or affiliate marketing. This is not the easy one, but it's the most paying. You recommend products to your audience. Let's say you're writing a post about skin, and you want to recommend the product that you bought from Amazon. You can include that link on your website, and when people click on the link and they go to Amazon to purchase the product, you will get a commission. Thirdly, you can make money on your your blog through sponsored posts with sponsored posts you write posts for other bloggers in the same niche as you or companies most of the time they will approach you but if you are still small no one may approach you so this is why you have to join facebook groups there are many facebook groups that you can join if you're in finance you can type finance bloggers and you join their group let's say a blogger has a schedule that they post monday wednesday and friday maybe they are too busy that week and they can't post or they don't have time to write a new post they'll reach out to other bloggers in the same niche you'll be looking for someone who can write a post maybe about investing or about mortgage and you can write that post for them and then they pay you in return and you can also shoot your shot by approaching companies directly for example if you're talking about skincare you can approach a brand and you tell them that you'd like to review their product and then if they agree to that then they will pay you for that sponsored post and then you write a whole post about that particular product the good thing with sponsored post is you name your price but of course don't be crazy there is money in blogging but it takes time patience and hard work if you want to make money or you want to be a blogger don't just do it because you saw someone making money and you think you're gonna make money just like that overnight there are people who are doing blogging full-time but you need to be able to put in the work because it does not come easy i am not going to lie to you and you guys know this by now in this channel i only recommend things that work blogging in particular i've been doing it since last year so i know what i'm talking about that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope i was able to answer all your questions if you have any other questions comment down below and i'll answer as soon as i can don't forget to like this video and also follow me on instagram dm me directly if you have any other questions and i'll try to reply as soon as i can